Hello, and welcome to the Cook County Emergency Rental Assistance Application Tutorial. The purpose of this video is to provide a step-by-step -step guide for submitting an application on the Cook County Emergency Rental Assistance online application portal. We will begin with some basic program information about the Cook County ERA program regarding eligibility and required documentation, and then we'll dive into how to complete an application. The purpose of the Emergency Rental Assistance Program is to provide financial assistance for rent, utilities, and approved housing-related expenses to households in suburban Cook County that have been negatively impacted during the COVID-19 pandemic, resulting in financial hardship and housing instability. To be eligible for emergency rental and utility assistance, you must demonstrate the following criteria. First, you must be a resident and a renter living in suburban Cook County, Illinois. Second, you must be obligated to pay rent and or utility bills on a dwelling at your suburban Cook County address. This can be demonstrated with a lease or utility bill or the intent to sign a lease for a minimum of six months. Expired leases will be accepted if a tenant still owes the landlord rent. Third, eligible applicants must demonstrate financial hardship during the COVID-19 pandemic. This could be a decrease in income, an increase in costs or unemployment, resulting in the risk of housing instability. In addition, an applicant's household income cannot exceed 80% of the average median income for the Cook County metro area. You can verify income eligibility using the below chart, which is also available on the Cook County ERA website. We strongly encourage you to gather the necessary documentation and be prepared to upload electronic files onto the application portal in order to successfully submit a completed application. A copy of the documentation checklist is available on the Cook County ERA website. The emergency rental assistance application requires the following documentation from tenants and landlords. First, proof of identity. A tenant must provide a valid government issued photo ID, such as driver's license, identity card, or passport. A social security card is not required for the tenant and undocumented persons are eligible to apply. Landlords must also provide a valid government issued photo ID, a social security card, and their IRS EIN letter or cover page of the latest tax return. Second, confirmation of residency and rental and or utility obligation. Tenants must submit a valid current or expired lease agreement and or utility bill with the matching application address in the name of a household adult member, depending on whether the applicant is applying for rental assistance, utility assistance, or both. Applicants who are applying for future rent on a dwelling that they have not yet entered into a lease agreement will work with the Housing Authority of Cook County to provide a self-attestation form verifying the details of their intended lease. Landlords may submit deeds, title insurance policy or mortgage statements to verify property ownership and a copy of the rental agreement, lease or tenant ledger. Third, tenants must provide documentation of income or unemployment, hardship during the COVID-19 pandemic and evidence of housing instability. These documents could include an unemployment claim dated after March 13th, 2020, official employer notice of termination, furlough, reduction in hours, two or more recent pay stubs or bank statements showing a decreased income after March 13th, 2020, or documentation showing the non-receipt of child or spousal support after March 13th, 2020. Also an eviction notice, past due rent or utility notice, or evidence that an individual in the household is at risk of homelessness. This could include an official notice that the building is condemned or evidence of overcrowding, meaning greater than two people per room. An important note, self-attestation forms will be accepted for tenants who do not have documentation verifying their income, past due rent or utility bills or COVID-19 hardship and instability. These are the categories of people who can fill out an application. Tenants, landlords, and tenant representatives. For all applications, information from both tenants and landlords is required. 
However, in situations where landlords refuse to cooperate, tenants can still submit an application and receive assistance if eligible. When a tenant applies on the online portal, their landlord will be notified and asked to complete their section of the application. If a landlord applies, the tenant will be notified and asked to complete their portion. It is very important that tenants and landlords input the correct email address for the other party, as this is how cases are identified in the portal and how both parties in an application are contacted. A tenant representative from a Cook County Community Partnership organization can register and complete applications on behalf of tenants who may need assistance, such as those with limited technology access or those who need language and translation assistance. The web address of the Cook County Emergency Rental Assistance online application portal is https colon forward forward slash hacc.rentrelief.com. The key steps in the application process are registration, pre-eligibility screening, applicant info, occupants, income, rental info, landlord info, utilities, other expenses, and documentation. If at any time you need assistance completing your application, you can contact the Cook County Emergency Rental Assistance Call Center at 833-221-9821. In addition, frequently asked questions and other helpful links can be found on the Cook County ERA website at www.cookcountyil.gov slash rent dash help. We will now begin the step-by-step -step instructions to help guide you through the online application from start to finish. The first step is to create an account or log in to the application portal. Once again, the website address is https colon forward forward slash hacc.rentrelief.com. In order to receive rental and or utility assistance, you must submit an application on the online portal. For the purpose of this guide, we have broken the application down into 13 steps with tasks for each step identified using the green and gray numbers shown on the slide. The gray number provides instructions for the task and the corresponding green number shows where on the portal this task can be found. If you would like to reference these slides, you can download a copy on the Cook County ERA website. Step one, visit the application portal. If you already have an account, please click the blue login button after entering your email and password and skip to step three. Tenant representatives only need one account even if they are helping multiple tenants. If you do not yet have an account, please click register now at the bottom of the page and proceed to step two. Step two, register for an account. Please fill out the four fields, first name, last name, email, and user type, either tenant, landlord, or tenant representative. Please click the blue register button when you are done and you will receive a code at the email address you use to register. Enter that code to verify your email address and move to the next step. Step three, add a new application. Step three is only available for tenant representatives. Tenants and landlords will go to step four after logging in. If you would like to change the language of the portal, please go to the top right and click where it says English. A drop down list box will appear and you can select the language that you would like to use. On the top left, next to tenant applications, click add new application. Tenant representatives will add a new application for each tenant they are assisting and can use this page to track the status of each application. Step four, complete the pre-eligibility screen. Answer all of the questions on this page, which are marked with a red asterisk. You do not need to complete this application in one sitting. You can save and leave the application at any point and return when you are ready to finish. Step 4B, complete the pre-eligibility screen. Click the blue check eligibility button at the bottom right of the page. If you are eligible, proceed to step five. If you receive a message saying you do not qualify for rental assistance and believe this is an error, you can call the Cook County ERA call center at 833-221-9821. Step five, provide your address. 
Provide the address where you are currently renting, including street, city, state, and zip code. All fields with red asterisk are required. Complete the mailing address if this is different from your current address and click the blue save button on the bottom right. Step six, add occupants. For each occupant living at the rental address, you will need to add information. This includes the applicant, other adults, and any children living at the rental for more than 50% of the year. Click the add details on the right side of the screen in the same row as the applicant name. Step 6B, adding occupants. Provide details about the applicant. The below fields marked with a red asterisk are required. First name, last name, date of birth, race, gender, ethnicity, and employment status. Click the blue save button at the bottom right and then click the gray close button next to it. Repeat these steps for any additional occupants and then click the blue next button at the bottom right. Step seven, provide income documentation. For each occupant, you will need to provide income documentation. If you live in a census designated majority low income area, the portal will identify your address and you will not see the screen. You can instead go to step eight. Please click add documents on the right side of the row with your first occupant. If your household's income is zero, please click on the zero attestation document, download it, fill it in according to the instructions and be ready to upload it during the documentation step. For each row, please tell us the monthly amount that you receive and the type of income. Upload a file that matches the criteria on the left side of the row. For example, for wages, tips, and overtime, please submit your last two months of pay stubs or a letter from your employer detailing your wages. If you do not receive a certain type of income, please check NA. For example, if you do not receive child support or alimony, check NA. Once you have completed all six rows, click the blue save button, then click close. Repeat these steps for any additional occupants and then click the blue next button at the bottom right. Step eight, complete rental info. Provide the details about your rental property. The below fields marked with red asterisks are required. Number of bedrooms, lease start date, monthly rent, past due rent, and number of months past due. Click on the red text underneath past due rent. Click here to add breakdown of past due rent. For each month of past due rent, please select the year during which the rent was owed. For each month of past due rent, please select the month during which the rent was owed. For each month of past due rent, please enter the amount owed for that month. Click the blue save button on the bottom right, then click the gray close button on the bottom right. Step nine, landlord info. Provide details about your rental. Tenants should confirm that they are using their landlord's correct email address so that we can contact the landlord. Information required is the landlord or property owner's first and last name, email address, phone number, and mailing address, including city, state, and zip code. Once complete, click the blue save button on the bottom right of the screen. You may see the option to confirm your landlord's mailing address. Once you have confirmed the correct mailing address, click the blue save button. Once you have confirmed your landlord's information is accurate, you can click the blue next button at the bottom right. Step 10, request utility assistance. If you are applying for utility assistance for electricity, and or gas, please click the add utility button at the top right. If you are not applying for utility assistance, please check the box for I do not need utility assistance and skip to step 11. 
requesting utility assistance. Provide the details about your utility. The fields marked with an asterisk are required. Include the utility type and the total amount owed. Once complete, click the blue save button at the bottom right. Upload invoices showing your past due utilities and their amounts, then click the blue save button at the bottom right and then click close. Step 11, request other expense assistance. If you're applying for assistance for other expenses such as moving costs, hotel costs, security deposits, processing fees or utility connection fees, please click, click here to add miscellaneous category. For each expense, please select the corresponding category. For each expense, enter the amount owed and then click the blue save button on the bottom right and then click the gray close button on the bottom right. Step 12, uploading required documents. Please click on the first row with the applicant's name to expand the drop-down list and show the required fields. If an applicant does not have the necessary documentation, you can download the self-attestation form and complete the form according to the instructions, sign and upload in the related upload field box. For each row, upload the requested document described on the left-hand side or the self-attestation form by clicking choose file located on the right-hand side. The fields marked with red asterisks are required. Once again, for each row, upload the requested document described on the left-hand side or the self-attestation form by clicking the choose file located on the right side. Repeat these steps until all required documentation has been uploaded. Then click the blue next button on the bottom right. Step 13, submit application. If a section in the left column has a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it, that, that section still needs to be completed. You will be unable to submit your application until all sections have a blue check mark. You can click on any section to go back to it. Once all sections are completed, you will be able to select if an agency or organization assisted with the application. If so, please select yes, you were assisted and select the corresponding agency or organization. Check the box next to the statement underneath terms and conditions. Click the blue submit button at the bottom right and the tenant portion of the application is now complete. The landlord must complete their section and you will receive a confirmation email and you will be able to check the status of your application at any time by logging back into your account on the online portal. Once again, if you have any questions on your application or need assistance, you can contact the Cook County ERA call center at 833-221-9821.